welcome to the library. So as much as I wanted to get a lot done in the lab today, just as far as studying goes, I kept getting distracted. So I wanted to come to the library and I did do a little bit of just review of what I've already kind of been learning and reviewing as far as studying for falls goes. But I want to use a whiteboard to actually draw things out. I ended up buying batch shipping some Expo markers. It annoys me when you have to like request the whiteboard markers and they don't even have like a dry erase thing. So I grabbed some paper towels, but it's fine. I'd rather be distraction free because I distract and it's not even like my lab is distracting. Like I don't have that much to do in lab. I find ways to distract myself. I did do a few things like I had to take care of the mice today and I needed to pick up some histology samples. So I did a few things and it is now almost 2.30. So I might study for a couple hours, maybe not even. I did review this morning, but um, I want to use the whiteboard to actually have the feeling of drawing out pathways on the whiteboard. Friday is going to be my second practice round of questioning with students. The first one went okay, but I really didn't study that much. And so this one, I'm feeling a little bit more prepared. So I've been going through topic by topic after making this list based off of my proposal. And I basically just highlighted key terms, methods, background topics literally anything that i could be questioned about i highlighted and i made like a bullet point and maybe some things that i need to look up or memorize about that topic yeah let's get to it just did some drawing on the whiteboard. I feel like sometimes I retain things better by active recall and I'm definitely a visual learner so I feel like writing them out myself and physically doing it on the whiteboard will help me learn and also that's basically what I'm going to be doing during qualifying exams. I just did quizlets based on topic and then also based on if I need to be able to draw a diagram which Obviously there's no one telling me like you have to be able to draw this, but if they ask me what is beta oxidation or, they, or if I can show them beta oxidation, I'm gonna need to draw on the whiteboard. So um, things like that, I wanna be like very comfortable just writing it out by memory and uh, just making it kind of like an easy thing to know and an easy question to answer. Okay guys, it is 4.30 almost. So I'm headed home. I got like a good bit of studying done and the Wi-Fi is actually working at the library. I know it sounds crazy, but our library Wi-Fi has not been working. So it was really nice that I actually got some studying done that required Wi-Fi. You know, it's the little things in life. Yeah, so now I'm heading home. Uh, I feel like I got a decent amount of studying done today. Probably not as much as I originally thought, but I studied a lot yesterday too so i feel like i need a little break so i'm gonna head home and probably go to the gym cook dinner you know good morning everyone today i am getting ready to go into work but traffic is really bad so i think that i might study a little bit at home until traffic dies down it's one of the things i love about being a phd student is you pretty much make your own schedule so if there are times where traffic is bad or you have an appointment in the morning uh, you can just go in late and you kind of just make your own schedule and just stay later. So I think I'm going to do that just because traffic is really bad right now. And basically all I have to do is study today. I do need to go into the lab to get just a couple things done, but nothing too crazy. Honestly, you can probably tell I just have been dressing like a bum. <laughs> I feel like when I want to really study and get be productive sometimes i just got to be comfortable because if i am uncomfortable in any way i will find a way to let that distract me also just an update from last time i vlogged which i can't remember exactly what day it was i had another practice qualifying exam or like another practice mock exam on friday and i think i vlogged last week before that and it was extremely humbling um I think that everyone is like, your PhD will really humble you and like beat you up and then you'll learn to get back up again. I kind of realized what they meant on Friday. I went into it really anxious. Also, I just realized I'm cutting off my head. 
I went into it really anxious and that obviously worked to my detriment. It was basically a mock oral exam in front of like three or four people with PhDs, including faculty from my department. Basically, they asked me questions about my proposal and we had to, I had to explain background concepts and ideas. I wouldn't say that I was unprepared because I don't think I would have been any more prepared for it had I studied some more, but at the same time, I didn't know I was gonna do it in front of faculty until like the day before. So I was really anxious about it because I was like, oh my gosh, I just found out that I need to do it tomorrow. Anyway, so it was very humbling. I have a lot to look over, I have a lot to study. I think a lot of my problem was the presentation of it all and I was so nervous that there were certain things I wasn't really sure what they wanted, I wasn't really sure what to draw on the board. That's kind of a big thing is knowing how to conceptualize ideas and draw them on a board. So I think I'm gonna work on just drawing some images demonstrating concepts, ideas, experiments. I think that'll really help me, <laughs> hopefully, next time. Um, I'm not gonna do a practice exam this week, but I will be doing one probably with my PI again. Um, I did one yesterday and it went a little bit better, but of course it was like lower stakes and he was asking me similar questions. Luckily, there's people that are the year above me and they're being super encouraging and they're like, it's okay, the first one is always the worst. And I was like, okay i was like you know what in the moment i didn't feel like i was gonna cry which i think was good so your girl has a little bit of work to do so that's what i'm gonna be studying working on this week and hopefully conceptualizing also my birthday is this weekend so i'm gonna be visiting my parents at the beach and i'm super excited because they have a beach house now so we can kind of just drive 10 minutes to the beach so i'm really hoping to see the ocean and have a little bit of relaxation but in the meantime this week i need to really grind practice exam this morning at the lab and it went so much better than last time thank goodness I honestly feel a little bit better since I had a semi-decent practice because a lot of it is practice and like thinking on your feet but I was just so brain dead after that practice that I didn't really do that much lab work afterwards or even schoolwork I left home early and it's Easter weekend so I'm gonna pack up and we're visiting my parents this weekend, which is very exciting. I haven't seen them since Christmas. So yeah, I'm gonna start packing for that. 